Anderson. Howdy. Hey, uh, I was walking through the uh, perfume section of Maya the other morning and I was on my way to somewhere else. So I'm doing that head down, look, look at me walk that you do. And one of those perfume ninjas came out of nowhere. <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he sprayed it on me and it was the best smelling thing I had ever smelt in my entire life. I was like, mate, what is that called? And he went, oh, oh, he's called sexual. And I was like, mate, I'm a mostly heterosexual Australian man. There is no way in the world I can wear a cologne called sexual. And that's when he said the best thing of all time. He went, oh, oh, he's not a cologne. He's a weapon. <laughs> so I fucking bought it and choo, <laughs> everything's sexualized. I feel sorry for the young people. Oh my god, there's 15 year old boys who have high speed broadband in their bedrooms, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if I had had high speed broadband in my bedroom when I was growing up, I would not be here tonight, <laughs> for I would be dead. Dead of masturbation. <laughs> we would have bought the computer. I would have gone into my bedroom. Two days later, mum and dad would have been like, where's Will? <laughs> they would have come into my bedroom. I would have been dead on the floor. Skin and bones. No liquids left in my entire fucking body. They would have brought in that CSI blue light, whole wall. <laughs> oh, look, he's written his name over there. Tricky. <laughs> Everything's hard for the young people, but I will say this, ladies and gentlemen, we have let children confuse wants with needs. I was uh, in a cafe the other day, ladies and gentlemen, and this kid came in about three years old on a leash. Don't even get me started. <laughs> the only reason to have your child on a leash, ladies and gentlemen, is if you are blind and allergic to dogs. <laughs> has looked up at daddy and said this, daddy, daddy, I need a baby Chino. And I was like, you need a fucking kick in the face. That's what you need, you spoiled little shit. There is no situation in the history of the world where anyone has ever needed a baby Chino. It is not a thing that you need. It is a thing that you want. It is a thing that you desire, but it is not now, nor will it ever be in the future, a thing that anyone will need. It wasn't even a thing 10 years ago. <laughs> it was invented by cafe owners because they realised they could rip $4 off your dopey fucking parents <laughs> for what is essentially warm milk with bubbles in it. <laughs> When I was young, we didn't have baby chinos and we turned out fine. Closest we got was when mum jumped on the trampoline and then breastfed us. <laughs> but we live in an age, ladies and gentlemen, where we're keeping morons alive in our gene pool by putting warnings on products that should not require warnings. The hotel I'm staying in has a hair dryer. On the hair dryer cord, there is a warning, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it says. It says, warning. Do not use in shower. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a friend who wants to use their hairdryer in the shower, <laughs> you let them. <laughs> One less moron to be pissing in the shallow end of our gene pool and the rest of us can evolve into the super species we are clearly meant to be. Don't warn them, let them go. <laughs> Not just because of the whole electricity and water, but because of the very purpose for which you might purchase a hair dryer in the first place. <laughs> My hair's not getting dry! <laughs> You're in the fucking shower! <laughs> you guys have been fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.